Hey everybody, this is Brian back again with the start of another one of my science experiments. As I've been propagating a few angel wing begonias over the last week, I was thinking about how everybody says you have to have a node in your cuttings in order to propagate these. Now I've always done it this way and had good results, but I got curious. What happens if you don't have a node? Will it really not grow? Are two nodes better than one? Are three better than two? So I decided to start this experiment. I've got four different pots and in each pot I put cuttings from an angel wing begonia, each with different numbers of nodes. And over the next several weeks, I'll show how they grow and see if there's any difference. Like and subscribe so you can follow the progress.